I think there's a lot to like about Matt Corral. Now, he has really good zip on his throws and is a good athlete. He runs an offense very well and can certainly throw the ball very far. I like his pocket presence, and I think he's a high IQ football player. Now, he will miss the occasional throw, and you can certainly argue that the scheme he played in helped him a lot more. I think you could also argue that there's better athletes in this draft and guys with better arms in this draft. But let's get into the actual film itself and really talk about what I like and what I think that he needs to improve upon. First, let's start off with something like this. He runs an offense very well. That's something that just jumps out at you when you watch his film, and this is a good example, where it's going to be play action and he's going to roll out to the bottom of the screen you see the route he wants to throw to and you can, can see how it works with the play action and with him moving this can get players who are supposed to cover over the middle out of position and you can throw behind them that that's how this play is designed to work as you see Corral, you know, fakes the handoff. He starts to run uh, over, and you can see how this throw can be hit. You can see the window where this can be made. Corral is going to make a very good throw through a tight window, and maybe you could argue the velocity on it was part of why it dropped. I think that's still a really, really accurate throw, and quite frankly, I said the same thing about Trey Lance last year, where it's like, if one of his biggest issues is he throws the ball too hard for guys to catch it, that's an issue you can work with. Something like this, very traditional what you would see from Corral when you watch his tape. It's going to be a zone coverage play. You run uh, play action and have someone run over the middle. Again, very similar to the last play we talked about. As you see, Corral takes the snap. He does run to play action. And right here, there is a pretty sizable gap for him to make this throw. But still, it's well-timed, very accurate, and he's able to you know, make the throw to where his receiver can pick up even more yards after making the catch. So, you know, this is not that different from a lot of NFL offenses, quite frankly, is running these play actions, finding the holes in the coverage, and making it work. Obviously, the holes are in the, you know, the gaps in coverage are going to be tighter, but still, it, it's not that dissimilar. I mean, this is what Miami basically did all of the second half of last year. Something like this is another good example where it's going to be zone coverage. Again, I mean, I won't break it down again. You see how it works. You're you're aware of how this stuff works now. And look at how Corral takes the snap, runs the play action again very early on. You know, sometimes guys will have their you know wait a little bit on these play actions. Not Ole Miss. They would kind of just want it to be a lot quicker. Corral has a relatively quick release, gets the ball there accurately, and again they're able to pick up a good amount of yards. So there's stuff to like about him, and I especially think that one of the things that I like about him personally is when you see stuff like this, it kind of just makes you think, okay. Uh, he can do an offense. I can visualize him having success at a certain offense. With a lot of guys, it's, well, I think he could probably do this offense well. With Corral, it's like, no, he can do this offense well. We know that. And like going over to this play, it's it's making good reads as well. Like something like this, where basically the same thing is happening on both sides of the field, the same concept. As you see, Corral takes a snap. First, he's going to look to the top of the screen, but he notices that the safety who's on that side of the field, because it's a cover two zone, as I showed you, so single safety deep on both sides of the field. So the safety towards the top of the screen, he's kind of cutting in. He's, he's doing a good job, I think, of just making sure he covers up this area. Because again, what we know is that the receiver who's faking as though he's running over the middle is going to then go deep, but the safety is in good enough position to where that's not really going to work on that side of the field. So Corral does what a lot of college guys don't do. He reads the play well. He simply moves on to his next read on the other side of the field, where, as you see, this is working out perfectly. I mean, this is about to have a wide-open receiver down the field. Corral's going to make the throw right here. It's a good throw, and they're able to pick up a big completion and pick up a lot of yards. So, really good stuff from Matt Corral, and that's what you like about him. It kind of reminds me a little of, like, Mac Jones, where a lot of people said with Mac Jones last year, oh, well, Mac Jones, he was in an offense where it was easy for him to succeed. Look at all the wide-open guys he was throwing to. Well, sometimes guys are wide open because you're hitting the right guy. Like, that's an element of being a quarterback is throwing to the more open guy. That's not always uh, a negative. Sometimes it's a positive. I think something like this is also very interesting where what you're going to see here is that it's a cover two zone. And you see how, so you see the way this concept can work. Basically, you have a shorter route and a deeper route that's going to both be in an Alabama player's zone. So the Alabama player either is going to covered up deep, which means you throw it short, or he covers up short, which means you throw it deeper. 
And look, as you see, Corral takes the snap, and he's going to make this read and realize, okay, realistically, the deeper route, that's going to be kind of tough. Maybe you can make it work, but I'd rather just take the underneath one. So that's what he does, and he's going to be able to pick up a decent amount of yards right there. So again, when I talk about running an offense, these are the things that I look about. And this is why I think that, you know, him and Kenny Pickett, from the guys I've scouted so far, I still haven't scouted everybody. But for me, it seems like those are the two guys that I feel like are the most pro ready in terms of like making their reads and corral can also do stuff like this where you see that there's a player going up one-on-one -on -one against uh it's really just pay attention to the alabama player less about the guard who's also in that side of the field because uh watch what the player is going to do look at how 48 is going to get inside to the inside of the center actually so get to the left of the center and at this point it's trouble right there's immediate pressure for corral however corral is able to just you know sidestep him and still able to pick up a decent amount of yards so will he be able to do that at the nfl level like okay probably not as consistently at least but kind of what i always say is the way that you can get around guys at the college at the nfl level means you at first have to be able to get around guys at the college level and he can do that so there is the athleticism there that you can definitely see and obviously getting around pressure definitely is a great thing that can happen to a player this one's another example where again you're going to see him run a play action immediate pressure he gets out of it and then just chucks one deep and this one may be a tad underthrown and a bit of air under it he was throwing off his back foot though still a pretty good throw though and especially when you factor on in the fact that you know he was about to get sacked got out of it and then got the ball down the field and made that play that's what really made it work i think so that was very good from matt corral so i like that we try to talk about his arm strength a little bit too so like right here here's what we're gonna see so right when this you know i'm already showing this play because all i really want to talk about is the arm strength itself so that's where he's throwing the football right now the black line the 33 yard line so his own 33 yard line and look at how he throws this one with you know some air under it for sure decent amount of air under it but not like uh, it was a complete lollipop type throw and I'm guessing the ball was you know probably would have hit around like that the three yard line so from the 33 to the three is where he threw that football that would put it at 64 yards with pinpoint accuracy on top of that so this is the talent we're dealing with he's definitely someone who uh has a big arm and definitely can make those plays now something like this again like I said he will miss some throws it happens I saw it on tape it, it, it's on there for sure as you see, Corral, you know, runs the play action. It doesn't really get his feet planted and misses the throw. So maybe you could just argue that's bad footwork more than anything. But that was a very real thing that did happen. And I didn't love it, quite frankly, from Matt Corral. So that's one thing. And also play like this, where that's the route I want you to focus on. I'm only going to show one example. There's a decent amount of these examples, quite frankly, which is him, you know, he missed some throws. Uh, he did. And really, he missed some deep throws is kind of the thing I noticed. A lot of underthrown deep passes. As you see, Corral is going to take the snap. And this throw is just going to be underthrown a little bit. So puts too much air under it and doesn't get it far enough down the field. And he does have a big arm, but it seems like he, the accuracy isn't entirely there deep down the field, which is definitely an issue that I see in Corral. So there's definitely stuff to like about Corral. I think that, again, uh, just to kind of to reiterate, uh, good zip on his throws over the middle. He's a good athlete, and he runs an offense very well. He can throw the ball very far. Good pocket presence. High IQ player. Uh, and he you know gets rid of the ball quickly if he can. The quick release helps. Uh, he'll lead his receivers, and he'll throw to the open spot. Uh, as in not throwing to the receiver, he throws to where the gap in coverage is, which is very important in that offense that he ran at Ole Miss. The negatives, he definitely misses the occasional throw. Uh, the scheme would get players open which is a real thing so maybe you could argue he got too much credit for when the offense itself was working although that definitely goes both ways sometimes he doesn't get credit for making the right reads as well um he will occasionally panic under pressure but it's not too big of a deal I also I didn't find any examples to show you guys but uh, I definitely I put in my notes that when a defender breaks the rules of a defense Corral can fail to notice it sometimes uh so you know when a defender makes a read that's not what the quote-unquote defense is supposed to be uh Corral did throw a couple interceptions that way and as I mentioned he'll underthrow some deep balls so yeah those are the you know pros and cons of Matt Corral as a quarterback that's what I think about him what do you guys think about him let me know in the comments below always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching